as mentioned, the theme of the presentation today is to portray the Vivadi Mela Raga structures handled by Muthuswami Dikshitar and Shama Sastri in their compositions. Firstly, a brief introduction to the Mela Karta scheme of Carnatic music. So what is a Mela Karta Ragam? A Mela Karta Ragam is a Ragam from which other allied Ragas are derived. This concept was originally proposed by 17th century musicologist Sri Venkatamaki in his treatise Chaturdandi Prakashika. Using various permutations and combinations of the 12 notes in an octave, he defined 72 ragas or parent scales. He then gave a specific name to each of these ragas, which were not in vogue before his work was written. Later on, another musicologist, Govindacharya, modified Venkatamaki's original scheme and gave new names to almost all of the Melakarta ragas in Venkatamaki's scheme. Govindacharya's scheme is more prevalent today and is followed by many composers and musicians, starting from Tyagaraja. The ragas in this scheme have all the seven notes, Sa, Ri, Ga, Ma, Pa, De, Ni, strictly in that sequence, in both ascending Arohana and descending Avarohana scale of the Raga. In the original Venkatamaki scheme, he omitted certain notes in either the Arohana or Avarohana for some of the Ragas to make them more aesthetically pleasing, especially when the Raga used adjacent notes as Ri and Ga or Da and Ni. This is the scheme that Sri Muktaswami Dikshita followed faithfully when composing Kritis in Melakartas and the Janya Ragas, while Tyagaraja followed the scheme modified by Govindacharya. So to Vivadi Ragas. The term Vivadi in Sanskrit means going against the grain of thought. A Vivadi Swaram is therefore one that has a relationship with another Swaram that goes against the standard norm. For example, a swaram that has the pitch of ri is referred to as ga, or a da sound is referred to as ni, and so on. These swarams, in their alternate names, are called vivadi swarams. A vivadi ragam, consequently, is a ragam that employs one or more of these vivadi swarams in its arohana or avarohana. So let's take up the second raga in the Melakarta scheme. In Venkatamaki scheme, this is called Pena Dyuti, and in Govindacharya scheme, it's called Ratnangi. Ratnangi sounds like this. adjacent notes. Ri is Ri 1 and Ga is the Vivadi Swaram since its usual pitch is Ri. In Pena Divi, this Vivadi Swaram Ga is omitted in the Arohana and only used in the Avarohana. To make it more interesting, Venkatamaki also used a zigzag pattern in the Arohana in Pena Divi. Chuhena. <laughs> Dakshinamurti, who sits under the Briksha tree playing the Vardhaki Veena.